as I was saying, I uh, yeah, I feel when I go back to Canada, I now kind of have developed a bit of a relationship now with Jaime. I've met him and spent time with him this morning, um, which makes me feel good. But the important thing to realize is, whilst that's what fair trade principles are generally about, um, or part of it, it's about developing relationships with producers and just giving them long-term secure um, business, uh, at least aspire to that, and um, the confidence for them to know that they have buyers in, in other countries. Um, the important thing with the relationships is to realize it's not just about us feeling good when we buy these products. That is, is one step from buying something that you know nothing about and it's just a thing. It's the next step is you kind of have, oh yes, I'm buying fair trade because I know it's helping these people, this community, these producers, but which makes us feel good because you think, yes, I'm doing this for the benefit of some people, but it's not just about that. It actually has to help the people that we think we're helping um, and not just a bit of spin. And I know now that having seen Jaime and his family, well, I know his family are helped with level ground. There is a direct um, correlation here between buying that product and actually him being helped and his family being helped and uh, the difference that's made over the years. So I'm confident in that and that's really why, partly why I've been doing this trip is to get an insight into what the lives are for people like this and that will help me when I get back to Canada. But um, I've seen anyway for, for level ground just what an impact they've had and although it's small in this particular case it's something that I hope we can grow in the future and give more people that kind of help.